More and more drones in the skies these days, but there are problems. Commercial pilots flying in and out of nearby airports have reported seeing them dangerously close to their planes. Good evening, I'm Keith Coons. I'm Ann Nyberg. Just last weekend, there was a report of a drone near an airport in this state. Chief political correspondent Mark Davis joins us live with word that Connecticut senior U.S. Senator is putting the pressure on the FAA to put a stop to this. Mark. Hi, Ann and Darren. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. In recent weeks, drones have been spotted by commercial airliners at 10,000 feet. Officials at Bradley tell News 8 that last weekend, a commercial pilot reported sighting a drone on his approach about 15 miles south of the airport. According to the Federal Aviation Administration, pilots have reported over 650 drone sightings near planes and helicopters so far this year. The numbers of incidents and sightings is quadrupling over just the last 12 months. A New York-based pilot who lives in Connecticut telling News 8 today that a strike of a drone to the nose of a jetliner probably would not bring it down. But if it was ingested into an engine at approach altitude, it would almost certainly cause a crash. While the FAA has issued rules for the commercial use of the high-flying video cameras, there is a glaring gap in the rules. Recreational drones, incredibly, are treated as model airplanes under the law. The FAA has a really tough job. They're, they're charged with um, adequately regulating a technology that is developing at you know, an exponential rate. Joined by two commercial pilots from Connecticut, Senator Blumenthal announced his support for the Consumer Drone Safety Act that would enable restrictions on where, who, how, and when recreational drones can be used. It would also require high-tech drone protection for the area around airports. Geofencing that would automatically prevent a drone from coming near an airport or other sensitive facility. Senator Blumenthal says the current situation with recreational drones is sort of like the Wild West or like a big city with no traffic lights and no stop signs. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.